Hello and welcome to another episode. Today we're going to discuss the science of vision improvement. In the last video we saw that thousands of people now have improved their vision naturally. So does the science show that this is actually possible also? My name is Peter. I used to have minus two diopter myopia and now I've reversed it to the point where today I see 2020, no glasses, no contacts and no laser eye surgery. If you want to find out how you can do the same, check out links in the description below. And while you're down there, hit the like button and the subscribe button. So on to today's episode. What does the science say about vision improvement? First of all, we need to think about what causes myopia to occur in the first place. So there's two reasons for myopia occurring. The first is pseudomyopia and the second is that the eyeball becomes longer. Pseudomyopia is a state in which the muscle in your eye is temporarily shortened and this causes your vision to be blurry. A good example of this is if you spent some time looking at a phone or reading for say about an hour and then you look up into the distance and you notice that you can't see very clearly into the distance. Usually this is temporary, however if you continue doing this for a long time then your vision will get worse over time. So I'm going to bring up on screen here a screenshot from the American Optometric Association and you can see here they define myopia or short-sightedness as a vision condition in which people can see close objects clearly but objects further away appear blurred and then if we scroll down on their page here we can see that people who do an excessive amount of near vision work may experience a false or pseudo myopia the blurred distance vision is caused by overuse of the eyes focusing mechanism after long periods of near work their eyes are unable to refocus to see clearly in the distance Clear distance vision usually returns after resting the eyes, however constant visual stress may lead to a permanent reduction in vision over time. So these guys say that pseudomyopia is a thing that exists. So here's another study which proves that too much close-up work is damaging to your eyes. So this is from the British Journal of Ophthalmology. This is entitled Objectively Measured Near Work, Outdoor Exposure and Myopia in Children. So if you read through this paper, you can see in the results section it says that myopic children spent more time on average each day on activities at a distance of less than 20 centimeters than non-myopic children. So that's to say they're probably on their phones really close or reading or studying. And they also go on to say that children that are exposed to light outdoors are less likely to become myopic. So the second thing that causes myopia then after pseudomyopia has begun is that the eyeball elongates. So this is called the axial length in scientific papers. So if an eyeball gets longer, then the light doesn't focus on the back on the retina, so you don't see a clear image. So this study here is from the Investigative Ophthalmology and Visual Science Journal. And the study is entitled Human Optical Axial Length and Defocus. It's a lot of jargon, but what it is to say is if you give a blur stimulus in one direction or the other, then the eyeball gets longer or shortens in response to this. So the eye has a, a feedback mechanism, basically. So if the blur is in one direction or the other, it will change length to accommodate for this. So you can see in the conclusions of this study, I've highlighted here, the bidirectional optical axial length changes observed in response to defocus implied the human visual system is capable of detecting the presence and sign of defocus and altering optical axial length to move the retina towards the image plane. So in this study they measured how the axial length of an eyeball changes with a blur stimulus applied to the eye and you can see in the results that they have shown that this lengthening of the eyeball is bidirectional, that's to say it goes both directions. So if the eyeball is getting longer and that causes us to be myopic then we want it to become shorter for our eyesight to improve. So here's another paper done by the Ophthalmic and Physiological Optics uh, Institute. So this paper is about how our eyesight can respond and see clearly depending on stimulus. They call this active emetropization. And this journal, just as you can see, it, the credibility of it, it is the top optometry journal in the world. Down in the abstract, we can see that compensatory eye growth responses to focusing errors imposed by lenses represent the most compelling evidence for active emetropization. So that is again what I was saying earlier, that the stimulus put upon the eye by lenses 
causes the biofeedback mechanism in the eye to change how it focuses the light. And then very interestingly, at the end in this paragraph, you can see that the authors have said that if they extrapolate these findings to humans, they predict that refractive correction of myopia will lead to accelerated progression. So that's to say that wearing glasses that give you clear vision will make your myopia worse. <gasps> this is absolutely astonishing and it also agrees with what I have been saying in my previous videos. If you're wearing your full strength prescription for doing work that's close up, that'll be damaging to your vision and cause your myopia to get worse. What are the solutions to this problem? Remember we had two causes, pseudomyopia, which is shortening of the ciliary muscle in the eye, and secondly, we had elongation of the eyeball. To prevent the ciliary muscle in the eye getting too short, we've got to minimize close-up work, or at the very least do less close-up work and spend more time focusing into the distance, and always Try to avoid wearing your full prescription if you're doing close-up work. This is detrimental to your eyesight. So for example, if you can see the computer screen without your glasses, do not wear your glasses to look at the computer. This will make your eyesight worse. If you can read a book without wearing your glasses, do not wear your glasses. If you're walking down to the shop and you can actually see quite well in the street, try not to wear your glasses. Obviously this is to the viewer's discretion, but wearing your full prescription glasses for seeing things that you can already see without your glasses is what's making your eyesight worse. So if you stop doing that and that prevents your ciliary muscle from going into spasm or becoming contracted and shortened, then you give that muscle a chance to release and open up. Secondly then, we've got to shorten the length of the eyeball. So this is a neat study that was done in Australia and is published in nature.com and this shows how providing a blur stimulus to the eye can change the length of the eyeball. So it shows that if we put a too strong a lens in front of the eye, a minus lens, which our glasses are for short sightedness, that will make the eyeball grow longer and then when you take off your glasses you're going to be become more myopic. Then if they put plus lenses, which are like reading glasses on, this causes the eyeball to shorten. And in turn, when you take off your glasses, you're less myopic. So this is the principle that's used in my courses. See the link in the description below. So what you're doing with this technique is you're always operating with your vision at the edge of your blur horizon. And this stimulates through the biofeedback mechanism in the eye for the eyeball to shorten. So if you can Get rid of your ciliary spasm and get your eye eyeball to shorten. You'll improve your vision and get back to 2020. Before you go, please like and subscribe to the channel if you found this content useful. Until the next video, take care of your eyes and have a good one.